Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Parks and Recreation, Season 6, Episode Number 19. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep hitting that notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It helps the algorithm all day, every day, 24-7, 365, maybe at 3 p.m. as well. But it does. All right. A couple comments from the last episode, starting with executive producer JoJo, who says, Ben has amazing taste in music. The first uh, REM song he played is actually my wake-up alarm. And who doesn't love Weezer? It's actually smart writing, too, because those are the same Gen Z kids who made Friends the number one streaming show on Netflix. So, of course, they'd love uh, 90s alternative rock. Just like in the 90s, we had posters of Pink Floyd, Bob Marley, and John Lennon. Culture is cyclical. Cyclical? Yeah, that's, that's not like I say. Uh, love seeing you guys recognize Pachitis. Too funny. See you in the next one. Joey Jason says, when Leslie Nope screamed Pachitis at the end, I immediately screamed out loud saying, yes! Great reaction, yeah. guys. <laughs> that was great. I didn't see that coming. That was oh, just clever I writing. Showed up. <laughs> so good. All right, last comments from Eric, who says, Pachitis. The fact that a one a one off character from four and a half uh, seasons ago was memorable enough that he immediately provokes a reaction on his return, and b the writers thought to bring it back for that moment just speaks volumes as to how well made this show is and has yeah. been for such a long stretch. Yeah, big facts. Um, all right, guys, great comments as always. Let's jump into episode nineteen right now. What's up, nope. Oh, yes. Nice. Wait, no, I want to touch your hand. Wow. Who's Chip McCow? Chip McCaff is the most amazing Chip away, in the entire world. He's like Indiana's sweetheart. We are huge chipmunks. That's what uh, his fans call themselves. I don't know why. Chipmunks. Because the animal? No, that's too simple. Yeah, okay. His latest song, <laughs> People Like My Mom, parentheses, Support the Troops, has like two million hits on YouTube. Oh my god! Oh, uh, that's our boy. Yeah! Uh, what's his name? Bo? No. Yeah, Bo Burnham. You know what I'm saying, boys? And thank you for protecting our freedom. That's great! Donna, April, Wine Country Train is leaving the station. You ready? Yes. Donna, if you drive us there, I will get very drunk. Deal? Fine, but we're listening to Jonesy nonstop. Today, at a local vineyard, a bunch like of sommeliers, aka wine experts, are competing for their certification. I'm gonna hire the best one at my new restaurant, Thomas Bistro. People that convince other people to buy expensive stuff they don't need. Those are the real heroes. I wanna come. I love wine and everything about it. The soil, the vines. I studied botany for three years at Purdue University. Don't pile on acres! There will be alcohol there, so I will go as well. Well, maybe I'll tag along. I don't have any more work to do. Maybe it'll be relaxing. I invite any of you. I start with two cool people. I end up with a bunch of grandpas. Those are grandpas. <laughs> we get to the vineyard, there's going to be a lot of fancy people there. Please, I beg you, don't embarrass me. How would we embarrass you? You're already doing it. All we need to do is go to Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. Convince Chip to do the festival, and then, you know, head home. Are you sure you're feeling up for this, boss? I mean, if you have to puke in my car, it's totally okay. I do it all the time. I'm fine. I've had the flu before, and I've worked through it. We just need to go to the pharmacy to no. Power through. Okay. Well, if you do collapse, luckily I know first aid. Uh, or karate. That's not first aid. It is, if you do it right. Hamlet! Hamlet! Oh, I guess while you get your mess, and I'll just stroll through the candy aisles, but won't get any. You can buy two candies. Two? Can I help you? I have the <laughs> He's such a big kid. I've been nauseated for a few days, a lot of barfing. It's a total disaster. Plus, I have a ton oh, of work to do, so I need the good stuff. The Mariah needs to sing tonight oh. stuff. You don't look flushed, no signs of fever. That doesn't seem like the flu. Oh! Could be aseptic meningitis. What is that? Is that bad? It didn't mean you'd have like an hour to live. What? It's probably not bad. It's probably not bad. Sorry, it's my first day. No. It's the flu. I mean, I don't think it could be anything. She's pregnant. Yep. Wowzers. This counts as one. Woo, where <laughs> did you mean? What did I say? Woo, where it is. Woo, there it is. Woo, there it is. No, woo. Woo, oh, there it is. For as long as it takes me to drink this bottle of wine. Wow. Okay, I'm so mad at my parents. Man, look how blue their mouths are. They both wanted the house for Columbus Day. Oh, they blew it up. so yeah. much as they said to just sell it, to spite each other. Which, I mean, think yeah. about Stop talking. You know, you are a wonderful guy, and I admire many things about you, but you're a terrible person to discuss personal problems with. Thank you, friend. That really means a lot to me. 
Dry, medium acidity, medium plus finish. Pumpkin, undertones of lavender, medium plus body. It's mostly pumpkin. There's so much pumpkin, it's like a Charlie Brown Halloween special. I'm getting notes <laughs> of uh, dried robin's blood, old dirty cashews from your grandfather's basement, and just a hint of a robot's bath water. Oh. A hint of a robot's bath water. That one sucks. An old world wine, Italian. It's a Verticchio do Classico, 2010. Wait, sorry, this is embarrassing. 2011. It's New World, Northern California, Napa Valley. Someplace beautiful and warm and amazing where everyone is in great shape and the night sky is full of stars. This comes from your mother's butt? Possibly your father's butt. Oh, actually, wait, never mind. This is so embarrassing. This comes from John McEnroe's butt from the year 3055. What's April doing? She's having fun. She's in Ruby. She's having lots of fun. Man, you were in the bathroom forever. The receptionist said the chip will be out in just a second, but check it out. I made all the little coffee pods they have. Good work, Andy. Kind of weird. I don't want to wait for Tom. I want to walk home. I'll join you. I'm always game for a brisk walk. Also, if I leave you alone, I'm pretty sure you'll die. <laughs> home is that way. Watch out for that fence. Watch out for that fence. I don't know, but he's real fancy. He's speaking French. You know I picked up a little. You got a chip. Chip. You got a chip. Yeah, such an idiot. We wanted to talk to you about the Unity concert in Pawnee. You said you were going to do it, but then said you weren't. We really want you to do it, so. Can you, you do, do it? it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I got a previous engagement. It's a bummer. To do what? To convince you to reunite Lando. Listen, it means a lot to me that you guys love the band, and I'm going to tell you the exact same thing I've told everyone who's ever asked us to reunite. No. Listen, I know that you and That's the band it. are just no. right now. <laughs> Not gonna happen. But bringing people together is exactly what we want to talk to you about. <laughs> Ridiculous, but beautiful. You're surrendering to the Earth Mother. Now stare into the, the Earth fire Mother. And picture your spirit animal. Well, I don't know what my spirit animal is. Because it doesn't exist, because that's nonsense, because you're an adult. Baby Snow Owl. That's right. Our spirit animals connect us to the natural world. That's <laughs> killing me. Open to their message. Uh, Watch it. Welcome back, old friend. Wow. If you really want to cleanse yourself of that anger, take that check and send it into the flames and up into the air with your screams. Do not burn that check. It is money. No, Ron's right, Ron. Ron's right, Ron. Ron's right, Ron. Oh, my God. He's the main. Hey there, baby Snow There you go. You're safe now. Chip. Hey, check it out. Scott Tanner just posted to the band's old website that Landho is playing the Unity concert. People are going crazy. We've sold 500 tickets so far. God, Andy, that's so great. You really saved the day. Especially since I threw up in that guy's piano. You got it, boss. We got your back. Now, you need to get home. You and Ben have some planning to do. Yeah? You're going to need a cage, uh, water bowl. Because he's still going with the dog. <laughs> right, thanks. You have a good vet? Tick medicine. Tick medicine this is very medicine. important. You got a good vet? I'll also get out here and walk home. You sure? This ain't really the best boy or the bat boy. Bat boy. What? Quite sure, thank you. Best of all, bat boy. Hey. Thank you for helping me with my anger. Really the greatest journey you'll ever know. Good episode, man. Andy came through uh, like a big dog. I mean, he came through still being Andy all the way. And then what a surprise. 
with Leslie being pregnant. Wow, didn't see that one coming. But I guess if we about to be ending this thing off, this is a great way to end it off with them starting the family like that. Ron and Ron met again in the woods. I thought that was hilarious. Um, I thought April and them at the wine thing, that whole thing was, was, was funny. And then um, Andy coming through again, getting the band guy to come back to, to the band. I thought all of it worked this episode. So, I mean, um, and then we got, what was his name? That Craig. Wants to, Craig. He wants to work with Tom Tom's uh, restaurant. I didn't see that one coming like he wanted to be there. But, okay, I guess that could work. But it, it would be hilarious to actually, actually see him interact with real customers, which we probably won't see. But we, you see what would go down if he had to go back to the, to the room and yell and shit. So I thought all of that was funny and it all worked. So I just had a lot of good time with this episode and can't wait to see another one. I thought it was such a great misdirect as far as them clearly uh, showing the title of the episode, The Flu Season, because I automatic you automatically automatically think back to the episode with Chris, which is one of my favorite episodes with him in it. So I was like, ooh, we're going to do this whole thing. And so going into it, believing like everybody's getting sick and then using that to ultimately be the reveal as far as Leslie being pregnant was just yeah. so well written. I loved it so much. Um, I it cannot wait for the next episode because they did leave, leave us without that moment fully revealed. We didn't get to experience it and I was like ready for it. I was already getting teary eyed. I was like, this is going to be the moment. Um, so they stole that from me. Um, so I will have to wait for the next episode to see that. Yeah. But I can't wait. I love everything about that. I thought Ben was fantastic this episode. Hilarious. He plays drunk so well. Like it's so believable. Like. Does he get drunk? Is this how he behaves? Because it's just so spot on and so it seems so real and I loved all of it. I love bringing uh, the other Ron back. I thought all of that was really fun um, and seeing the, all of them on the screen together is always hilarious. Mm -hmm. So it's just such a, a, a stark contrast to our Ron, which is done on purpose, but I really appreciate it. I thought that was really good too. I liked all the fun with April and them doing the wine um, tasting too. I thought all of that worked really well. I didn't see the thing with Craig, but I thought that was well written. Yeah. His exaggerated frustrations with, and this is exactly what he would have to experience because people aren't, you know, uh, experts at wine choices. So I thought that was a great test to test him too. Um, but, and Andy coming through, being Andy and completely getting the reveal that Leslie's pregnant only to go back to his original thought that she's getting a dog. It's so Andy. And, and I, I love mean, it so much. Yeah. It's so well done. Leave I, it in his head. It's just, I don't know. I don't feel like this show can do no wrong at this point. I feel like they, it is what it is. It's just, uh, uh landing or operating in all cylinders every single episode and maybe it's because i love each and every one of the characters so much but love this so much and absolutely can't wait for the next episode yeah. all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for parks and rec season six episode 19 and until next time people